Hello everybody, welcome to me and Fit and Lane. If you're new, please hit that like and subscribe button. Okay folks, today is we are just basically starting over uh, in our in my weight loss journey. Um, basically as if I'm just starting for the first time at this whatever weight is I see today. Um, because I had to recalibrate everything and I just decided let's just start over. Let's try and work this through and just try to start over from scratch. Um, now this past weekend um, I just turned things around. I started taking a supplement recently uh, a couple days ago I started called Berberine to see if that might make some difference. But it's going to take at least a week or two to see significant results from that. So I'm not really expecting to see a lot of results today because I just I just started, you know, again, basically starting over with a keto diet and eating low carb and stuff. I was in denial for so long and I just didn't, I wasn't doing it right. So we're, we're starting over, folks, and no matter what, what it says on the scale today, um, it's just the starting point. So I'm not going to be expecting a lot of weight loss today. Uh, we're just going to see where we go from here. Um, now today, um, unfortunately yesterday I did have some Chick-fil-A. Um, it was just chicken, but it, I do tend to weigh more after that. Um, that's all I had. All I had yesterday was two Chick-fil-A sandwiches. And um, and I think I had wait a minute I had a lemonade maybe but um, I didn't really have much at all calorie wise um, food wise um, you know I could have done better well, we're just going to see folks what what it is today and and um, and see how we can move forward from here let's just start over folks let's all start over from scratch okay here we go. Okay, folks, today's weight is 274.6. Um, not surprised. All right, folks, there you have it, 274.6. Um, went down like two points, I don't know. I'm not surprised. I probably should have weighed myself yesterday um, because I probably would have weighed less, actually, if I just weighed myself yesterday after not eating all day. But I was so hungry that I had to eat something, and when I ate something, I thought, oh no, I can't, I can't weigh myself now, because it won't be, re the results will be skewed. Um, so this is, this is it, folks, um, 274.6. That's where we're starting from this week. So with following the diet, I should be down two pounds by next week, and then two pounds following week, and so and so. And unless I have some kind of, I call it the whoosh effect, if you're doing all of a sudden you just get rid of a bunch of water that sometimes it happens I might have a, a week where I go down five pounds um, but this is this is where we are folks and at least I'm not going up anymore right at least I kind of stopped going up but it, it is frustrating uh, however after all I've read and heard about Ozempic and what it does to people and how they end up um, gaining more weight when they stop they lose all their, they lose bone density and muscle tissue, and they're in a way worse way. Um, it sort of says, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go on Ozempic. I can't even afford it. I don't think my insurance would cover it. So we're using berberine as a, you know, sort of a low end as Ozempic, um, but it's not, it's not going to make a huge difference. But it will, might give me a little bit of help in terms of fixing my gut bacteria because that's what it helps to do and um, 
Now, folks, I wasn't completely honest. Yesterday, I did also have Sweet Frog, which is a yogurt shop, if in case you all don't know. It's a frozen yogurt shop. I had a huge Sweet Frog. <laughs> yeah. Chocolate with gummy bears and caramel and um, sprinkles and all that. And I thought, ugh, what have I done? I just went off my diet again. It's just so easy to go off of it, you know. So, anyway, today is a new day. We've weighed ourselves. We're starting over. Come along, journey with me. Um, I am not. I am so determined. I feel motivated. And if you feel motivated to do something, it will be a little bit easier. So I do feel motivated um, to get down. And um, what I'd like to do by the end of the year, I'm expecting by the end of the year to be around the 250 mark, or in the 250s, below 260 by Christmas. I know I can do it. It's a challenge, and I know I can do it. Um, especially once I get rid of this extra regain, you know, rebound weight I regained. Um, I have seen other channels. Um, my first channel that I ever watched, folks, is a channel called Danny Fit and Lean. And I saw him. He's on Ozempic now. He gained a whole bunch of weight back. He gained about um, 160 pounds more than he lost. It's very discouraging because he got really lean. I mean, he got really fit and lean. He didn't just lose weight. He really did it. That just goes to show, folks, you can do it the right way and still regain it. You know, it's just so frustrating. I know it's probably something God gave to us to, God gave us a, a way to, so we won't starve to death, you know, so we have a mechanism. And probably people like me, I'll, I'll be able to survive a famine, you know, probably. <laughs> Because I have this ability to keep weight on, um, unlike most people do. And, and maybe it's a blessing, but it's also a curse if you're trying to look good. Um, but there are so many things coming out about Ozempic. I'll, I'll do a whole, whole new topic on Ozempic because I studied it, and there's just so much going on with that that people don't know. And um, the studies, and it's Ozempic is not, a ter it's not a new drug. It's been out for almost 20 years. It's just that they weren't, they didn't start pushing it out at fat people to the last few years or so before it was strictly for people with diabetes now the pharmaceutical companies want to push it on us and ruin you because they want it, want they want you on it for life if you go off of Zimbic, you know you'll regain that weight so anyway folks um, thank you all for watching let's start all over again with the weight loss journey and we can do it okay go to my website meetscalesplace.com and remember folks say a prayer for someone special today